Good afternoon. 13 News at Noon continues at 1230 with the very latest on day one of the Delphi murders trial. The court just took a break from opening statements this morning in this first day. So we are learning now what the prosecution is going to argue in this case, in its case against Richard Allen. Samantha Johnson has new information just in from Bob Siegel, who has been in court all morning. Sam, we know opening statements started around 930. Where do things stand right now? Yeah, that's right. They finished opening statements earlier this morning. They took a quick break. They went back in to start testimony in this case to hear from their very first witness, a witness that you have seen before. Becky Patty, the grandmother of Libby German, was the first witness in this case. I want to bring in Bob Siegel. Like we mentioned, he's been in the courtroom all day. And as you can imagine, you were saying, Bob, that that was pretty emotional testimony. It was emotional testimony. Uh, Becky Patty uh, spent most of her hours were on the witness stand answering questions from the prosecutor about the day that Abby and Libby went missing. So she explained how the girls were on a day off of school. They wanted to go and uh, head down to the Monon High Bridge. She said the last thing that Abby said to her is, Grandma, I'll be okay. So I think every parent can, can relate to the heartbreak and the uh, teary-eyed testimony that she gave. She went on to explain that when her granddaughter and Abby, who were best friends, did not show up uh, at the time that they were supposed to, she quickly knew something was wrong because she said that uh, Libby, her granddaughter, would always be in contact with her, always had her phone with her. She said, we called. We kept calling and calling, and they just didn't get any answer. So they went to look for themselves, and then they contacted police. The next day, they explained that um, there were search parties that they went out to, and probably the most touching quote that she gave and that she told the jury while she was on the stand, she said she found out that the girls were found. And she said, and I'll quote here, I couldn't understand why they were not taking me to her. And then I saw the coroner's van driving by and that's when I realized they weren't alive. She said, it never crossed my mind when they told me I just thought they found them. So the jury got to hear that testimony from the grandmother of one of the victims. It was touching testimony. It was powerful testimony. It sets the scene for some of the other evidence and what we presume will be the crime scene evidence that the jury will then start to hear perhaps as early as this afternoon. Well, and we know all this comes after pretty bold opening statements, right? The prosecution saying that they can prove Richard Allen was the man who killed Abby and Libby. They went so far as to say the last face those girls saw was Richard Allen face. The defense then saying, you know what, this investigation by state police from the beginning has been messed up. Both sides pretty bold in those opening statements. So walk us through what comes next this afternoon. Well, we don't know who the next uh, witness is going to be, but we do know that the jury is going to need to understand exactly what was found at the crime scene, the, the condition of the girls' bodies. Um, so we presume, again, um, as early as this afternoon, they might start to hear some of the really, really difficult evidence and testimony about what that crime scene looked like. And that will, uh, again, set the stage for uh, the evidence that the prosecutor plans to introduce that Richard Allen was the person responsible for these deaths. Yeah, and he did warn the jury this morning that you were going to see that crime scene. He, in his words, it was a gruesome scene. We know you'll be back in the courtroom this afternoon. Yes. Of course, you'll have an update for us tonight on 13 News, everything that develops today. Yeah, we have a break until 1.30, okay. then it's back in the courtroom. We expect at least four, five more hours of testimony this afternoon. All right, that's the latest here. Of course, we'll continue to keep you updated throughout the day. Dustin, we'll send it back to you for now. Oh, boy, those di details are difficult to hear and your heart just breaks for those girls families having to relive that and go through it um, all over again. All right, Sam, thanks. We'll check back beginning at four o'clock.